Today, November 4th, is Thanksgiving in Liberia. For those of you that are not familiar with Liberia, Liberia is located in West Africa, and today I'm sharing with you the famous Liberian pepper soup. It is the most delicious soup on the continent of Africa, and most will agree that it is one of the best soups around the world. Equally tasty with its own unique flavors and ingredients, it is cooked with various types of meats, poultry, seafoods, seasoning and spices, African vegetables, and most importantly, with the hottest peppers. All cooked in one pot or in many variations depending on your preference, without combining the meats, seafoods, and poultry, this delightful and intensely flavored soup is commonly eaten with fufu, dumboy, rice, or alone. Fufu and dumbo are made from the cassava root, also known as yuca. In comparison with chicken soup, Liberian pepper soup is also known as the all illness curing soup. In my opinion and from experience, it gives the immune system a boost and can help stave off cold and flu. The various spices and flavors also helps to break up congestions. Why not give it a try? You can do it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be preparing hot Liberian pepper soup. Liberian pepper soup is authentic and it is made with a variety of ingredients including seafood, meats, veggies and seasonings. Um, Liberian pepper soup is eaten with dumboy or fufu made from the cassava or yuca root. You can also eat Liberian pepper soup with rice or you can eat it by itself. First, I'm gonna start with a various type of seafood. I have in here different types of crabs, shrimp and fish. Also, I have oxtail cow foot, and pixie. For dry goods, I have dried snail, dried fish, cow skin that has been um, burned on the grill. I have smoked crawfish. I have smoked chicken, Norwegian star stockfish. I also have a seasoning from Liberia, homemade seasoning. I have bitter ball and kitale, also okra, onions, hot habanero peppers, which is key because that is what makes this soup very hot. You can also use cayenne pepper to add to that. I have some Maggie cubes, nor seasoning. I have the chicken season, the tomato season for noir, as well as the beef season. First, I'm gonna start with the meats that take the longest time to boil or cook. And overall, the Liberian soup can range anywhere from an hour to three hours, depending on your ingredients. Let's get started. I'm gonna begin with the cow foot. And I put a couple of pieces in there. The next one is the oxtail. I've already cut the fat from one of the pieces for this one. Because you don't want a lot of grease or oil in the soup. So it's good to take a little this fat out. You can leave some of it for flavor. But try at least to take out most of it. And the meat has been already clean and wiped. So this piece doesn't really have a lot of flab. I might just leave it like that. I 
I am going to start with some seasoning. And this is one of the examples of seasoning without measurement. I'm gonna put three of the habanera, and of course I will need to add more. For seasoning, I'm still gonna continue adding. And I added some of the nor. I am going to add a little bit of the tomato seasoning. And a beef seasoning. And this gets the process going. I'm going to add my water to it. You can cook the soup in a cast iron pot, a regular pot, whatever will make your soup cook well. And I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top because I want to give it a chance to boil. And if I need to add more water, which I will do, I will do that at a later time. The next one is the pig feet. Because it's very salty, I'm gonna put it in a separate pot to boil. I'm gonna put the stove on high to begin the boiling process of the meats. This particular soup is gonna cook between two to three hours uh, because of the various ingredients. I will continue checking it throughout the process. The Norwegian stockfish sticks are very hard. Um, so usually I soak them in boiling water and this helps for it to be clean well as well as soften it a little bit before I put it into the pot. I'm gonna begin cleaning the stockfish. It has soaked in the boiling hot water. do is kind of open it up just to make sure I do clean in between it and like I mentioned earlier the hot water kind of starts it being prepared for the boiling process I'm going to rinse it out one more time. I'm going to be adding the meat skin to the stockfish. So that is going to go in the pot. And next I'm going to bring the pig feet. And I also mentioned it's salty, and that's why I had to boil it in order for most of the salt to come out. I'm gonna kind of let's just see I can take it apart with my hands instead of a knife because it has boiled enough. I'm 
I'm also going to add the rest of the onions to it. And I did use a half a large onion. Depending on your tolerance for onion, you can use whatever amount of onion you like. I'm going to add the last two habanero. Habanero is very hot, so you have to be careful. And as I mentioned, this is authentic hot Liberian pepper soup. Our oh, meat should be halfway boiled. Yes, it is. I'm going to be adding more pepper, the pig feet, the meat skin, and the stockfish. To the pot. As well as more water. And this has been going on for like an hour, 15 minutes. So I'll give it another hour before I add fresh and dry seafood to it, as well as other seasonings. It's been like another hour. Okay. I'm gonna add some more water. I'm gonna add the seafood, which will be the crabs, the dry fish, the dry shrimp. I'm also gonna include more seasoning. Again, cooking without measurements. So I'm gonna season this pot to my taste. And you can do the same. I'm going to be adding Maggi cubes to it. Put like five of them in there. I'm also going to be adding my Liberian season. Put some black pepper in there. Give it a big stare. That looks very good. So I'm gonna taste the soup a little bit just to see how much seasoning I have in there or if I need more. And I'm going to add my tomato paste to it. And one can, a small can should be enough. Another stir. Give it the last ear. At this point, I am going to close the pot and lower the heat. It's going to be on medium and I'm gonna have it on for another hour. I will be monitoring it throughout.
it's been like 15 minutes and I've been adding a couple of pieces of fish to it. I'm also gonna add some kitty This is just to kind of give it some taste. Usually I cook the kitty on the side and it's already pre-boiled. I'm also gonna be putting the bitter ball. It's already cooked. Adding that to the process. The okra is gonna be boiled separate uh, because I do not want the soup to be kind of slimy. This should be ready in the next 30 minutes. The soup is ready. At times, depending on the kind of meats that you put in, and because we had oxtail in here, um, there will be some oil at the top. I usually take out the oil. And it's just like at the edges, that's all. You might wanna keep it in if you want to. Um, I usually take mine out and discard it. And there's a little bit of soup that's coming with the oil, but there's enough to go around, so it's no biggie. And it's ready to serve. And like I said, um, Liberian pepper soup can be eaten with dumbo, fufu, rice, or just by itself. And I'm gonna have a video concerning how you make dumbo and also how you make fufu. So stay tuned for those videos. It's time to have some pepper soup and fufu. Yummy, it is very hot. Gonna cut these other fish. Mmm. Delicious. Gonna have some of the meat skin. It is really tender. And this is very easy to make once you follow the recipe. And I'll have in the description where you can find most of these ingredients. Delicious. Please subscribe to my channel. It is free. Click on like. I would love to hear from you, so please comment. Helpful ones are greatly appreciated. Share with family and friends and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop my next video. Without further ado, thanks and let's get cooking.